Big Skip here, VIP Sports out here in beautiful Las Vegas. There's no better time of the year than right now. Baseball betting is an absolute gold mine, folks. And when it comes to betting baseball, there's nothing more profitable than betting the totals, the overs, the unders. And let me explain to you why. Baseball is unlike any other sport for many different reasons. In baseball, when you go to the park and you go out to the ball game, every ballpark in the country is different. And believe me, I know. I've been to 27 out of 30 of the parks. I know. Every ballpark, the dimensions are different. Now, I know that the rubber is 60 feet and 6 inches from home plate at every park. I know that the bases are 90 feet apart at every park. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about some parks have high walls, some parks have low walls. Some parks have a lot of foul ground, a lot of foul territory, other parks don't. When you got a ballpark that has a lot of foul territory, that's going to lead to more outs, more fly balls, be, uh, foul balls being caught, okay? Maybe that gives you a lean towards the under when there's going to be more outs and, and a lot of foul territory, okay? The ballpark dimensions are different at every park, and every park plays differently. Unlike a basketball game where the court is the same everywhere you go. Unlike a football game where the football field is the same dimensions everywhere you go. Yeah, they might have better fans at uh, Texas A&M than they do uh, maybe at Clemson. I don't know, just an example. The weather in baseball is a tremendous effect when it comes to betting the over-unders. Out here on the West Coast, a lot of West Coast ballparks play to the under. They're known as pitcher ballparks over the years. It's just a known fact. It's just the way the parks are laid out. It's the humidity. It's the, the, the conditions on the parks out near the coast, like in LA, Chavez Ravine, Dodgers Stadium. Over the years, been a great ballpark to bet the under. It's been a pitcher stadium. Same thing with Petco Park. I mean, hell, they had to bring in the walls at Petco Park just to try to produce some runs out there. San Francisco. When the wind swirls out there, you can't get a ball out to McCovey Cove if you're, if you're Hercules, okay? The umpire rotation. Now, you know a thing called the strike zone, which is this imaginary box around home plate? Well, it's supposed to be consistent, right? But the umpires are human. Some umpires will call a low strike. Some will call a high strike. Some guys will give you an inch off the corner of the plate. Some guys won't. There's pitchers over the years that have made a living on knowing who the umpire is behind the plate. You get guys like Glavin and Maddox and Smoltz back in the day with the Atlanta Braves. Those guys made a fortune living on the corner of the plate. And believe me, they knew when the umpire behind the plate was an umpire that would give you that extra inch off the corner. And believe me, they took advantage of it for years. So the umpire rotation is a key when it comes to betting over-unders. Certain umpires have a track record of games going over when they're behind the plate. They got a tight strike zone, tighter than a mouse's pussy. Some umpires have a big strike zone, bigger than Khloe Kardashian's camel toe. <laughs> it depends who's behind the plate. It depends who's on the mound. If you get a pitcher that likes to live on the corner and you got an umpire who likes to give the corner, of course there's going to be more strikes called, which is going to lead to an under. Some teams play better in domes than they do outdoors. Some teams can't hit at all on, in day games. You got day games versus night games. Left-handed pitching versus right-handed pitching. If a team can't hit left-handed pitching and you got a left-handed ace on the mound and the umpire rotation is playing into uh, this particular pitcher and the ballpark's right and the weather conditions are right, just because when a team bats 137 as a team against left-handed pitching, they're not just all of a sudden going to bat 350 tonight against this lefty. Baseball is extremely consistent, and when you follow those consistencies, you can make a lot of money betting baseball. There's many different characteristics to look at when it comes to betting a total in baseball. If you call me at 877-220-6540, I can explain more to you about betting over-unders in baseball. Again, 877-220-6540. This is the Big Skipper, VIP Sports, Steve Stevens, the number one sports consultant in the world, the most feared sports bettors in the nation, and betting baseball totals is an absolute goldmine. Give me a call and let's make some money.